So here it is in full operation. Um, so it's an MPU 9250 9-axis sensor, so gyroscope, accelerometer, and gravidometer. Um, I have a Dragonfly um, microcontroller and a breadboard there. I got my LCD right here, so you can see it reads pitch and roll. It gets power via micro B USB. Um, so here's just the output. You don't really need all this, but so it does also have a temperature, so a thermometer and a barometer. So then I have this little button here that will read out then the max pitch and roll you've achieved, and then also your current altitude and temperature. Um, and so then the other feature I put in is like when you get within between 10 and 5 degrees of a rollover angle, it'll give you a warning, and as you get closer, it'll blink and do danger. And it's the same for. See, I'm already at danger with pitch. Then I come back, warning for pitch, danger. And it does that for all four. And here I'll have to pause real sec to show you the startup. So here it's reading out the rollover angle. So you gotta put in um, four different weights, four different measurements of your vehicle, and it'll calculate your rollover angles for you. And so this box I obviously designed and printed myself, but so these two screws just kind of hold it in place. I'll show you in a video of in the Jeep. It kind of goes in the grill where the defroster is, kind of just stops it from going back and forth. Um, and then lastly there's a lid, which I printed with a little Jeep grill and TJ logo. This is actually not the final one, the real one's printing right now, um, so it'll just look a little cleaner. But And then I'm just going to screw this on top, and then that's pretty much it. Here's how it looks actually mounted in the car. Only difference I'm going to get a longer USB to run down and under into the port. But yeah, I just mounted it like you can see. Here's the grates that I tied it into. And I've um, got to put the lid on. But yeah. All right. This is the wiring diagram here. Hopefully this gives you the best picture. I'll insert an actual better picture of it. But hopefully this gives you a little overview. Instead of doing an actual wiring, wiring diagram, this just shows you what each pin connects to. So like... On this board, pin 2 connects to pin 14 on the LCD. Uh, the voltage um, VCC connects to the positive on the breadboard, etc., etc., down to the switch. Um, the only thing I really want to note, in case you really are trying to replicate this, I have two wires here that aren't really wires. I just use resistors. Just take note of that. So a 220 ohm resistor, 1 kilo ohm resistor there, and yeah, that's it.